Welcome to DeSoto Rises with me, Mayor Rachel L. Proctor. Now, this series is one that I'm very excited about because it's gonna give you a behind the scenes look of all the things that are happening in our community and the people that make our community great. And so the first series is gonna actually give you an introduction to our city leadership and the administration and all the wonderful people that make DeSoto run each day. I am Rachel L. Proctor, the 22nd mayor of the city of DeSoto, Texas. Being mayor is kind of like being the head of the city. You're the face of the city. You're the spokesperson for the city. Um, of course, uh, in, a, in an official capacity, I facilitate the meetings, um, you know, all those things, uh, visual signature on many things. And so um, it's just really, really, really exciting, I think, to be able to represent and really champion a community that I grew up in, a community that gave so much to me in my formative years. And so that's what I love most about being mayor. One of the things that the reason that I chose DeSoto Rises as a mantra is because I believe that I think that if nothing more, that the people that are still here really believe in this community and really love this community. And I think that it takes the coming together and just collaborating and working together to be able to rise from all of the things that people have heard on the outside about DeSoto, but to really rise and what's already here, the great people, the great things, the great ideas. Um, and so that's the reason that I always say this. It, I end, I begin every statement with it. I end every statement with it. It's like I said, it's my mantra, it's my slogan. And um, it's really just a challenge for our community to, again, come together, get engaged, and help our city be the best it can be. What's your official job capacity here at the city of DeSoto? And what do you actually do for the city? Yep, so my name is Brandon Wright uh, and I'm the city manager here for the city of DeSoto. Basically what I do is I, I cover the day-to-day -day operations of, of the city. Uh, so, so one of the unique things about my job is that I'm, I'm a person that's directly hired by the city council. Uh, so all the city council members get together, they vote on who it is that they want to be their city manager. And then from there, the city manager is responsible for implementing all of the, the operations, the policies that the city council comes up with on that. So my responsibilities include kind of hiring the entire department head team, uh, making sure that their areas are completely staffed. Uh, helping prepare a budget for the city council, uh, making sure that 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 our you know our customer service and our different ways that we handle all the different programs that we offer are all being handled efficiently and effectively with the tax dollars that we use. Ultimately, I'm responsible back to the city council. Uh, what I what I need to do is make sure that things are operating well in the city, so that I can tell the city council, yes, we are an efficient city, we're an effective city, we're we're handling all the policies that the city council adopts, and we're helping to make recommendations for better policies in the future. Uh, so I work closely with the city council and then also the city, the senior leadership of the city uh, to make sure that we're working together as one team. My name is Isom Cameron and I am the Deputy City Manager of Operations for the City of DeSoto. I have a portfolio of departments uh, that I'm responsible for that includes public utilities, development services, uh, parks and recreation, as well as health inspections. And then I am the City Manager's liaison to the Fire Department, the Southwest Regional Communication Center, which is our 911 center, as well as uh, I am also over the sanitation uh, uh, contract and any other projects that may come along. I'm Christoph Bauer, one of the two deputy city managers working with uh, city manager Brandon Wright. I'm currently assigned to work mostly with the internal service departments, information technology, human resources, finance, uh, marketing, and uh, community relations. But I also work with the library and I'm the liaison to the police department. I am Crystal Owens. I'm the Managing Director of Development Services. So I am responsible for planning and zoning, engineering and construction, building inspections, facility maintenance, streets, fleets, signs and signals. So I have a wide breadth of things that I do on the operations side for the city. My name is Mamara Bandari and uh, I'm an environmental health specialist here. I do inspect uh, all the restaurant, retail food, uh, daycares, um, foster homes, um, all the re all the food-based uh, establishment here in DeSoto. I also do swimming pool inspection during summer and um, I also do school, uh, ISD, kitchen inspection, um, I think I already said foster inspection, but uh, boarding home inspection includes on it and uh, everything that is environmental and health related comes to me and uh, uh, I do all those inspections and make sure everything is in compliance. 
Alicia Thomas. I am the interim city secretary. I work closely with Dallas County to coordinate um, and administer the municipal elections. My name is Kimberly Gardena and I'm the assistant to the city manager. I really handle special projects on behalf of the city manager. And some of those projects include our city manager's weekly update that's issued every Friday. I also handle any of the programs that are funded with our CDBG grant. And some of those programs are transportation assistance, down payment assistance, and of course our upcoming mental health fair. My name is Becky Lewis. I'm the executive assistant to the city manager. Primarily, I handle scheduling for the city manager and for the deputy city managers here in the uh, administration office. I also, though, am responsible for uh, communicating with the HOAs and <laughs> handling anything related to trash and refuse. So. Uh, I'm Matt Carlson, and I'm the Economic Development Director here at the City of DeSoto. So my team and I are responsible for leading the city's efforts as it relates to its thriving economy strategic goal. My name is Joe Costa. I'm the Chief of Police in uh, DeSoto. I'm day to day. I uh, run the department and we make sure that uh, everybody uh, is out on the street as they should be. We try to keep uh, crime down to a minimum and uh, I have to uh, direct my staff to uh, uh, do the handle the day-to-day -day operation uh, of the department. I'm Chris Glover, the Director of the Parks and Recreation Department. Uh, I am the administrator of our Parks and Recreation Master Plan. We're also responsible for contributing to economic vitality within the community. Uh, we program for mental and physical health. And I guess last but not least, we do maintenance on right-of-ways, thoroughfares, and at all of our outdoor parks. I am Dr. Tracy Hunter-Hayes. My title, I'm the Managing Director of the DeSoto Public Library. I do everything from books to information, make sure your place in here is secure, make sure you are walking away with what you need, but more importantly, that you have a great experience when you're trying to find information, resources to help you in your daily life. Hi, my name is Kathleen Shields, and I am the Director of Human Resources and Civil Service here at the City of DeSoto. We handle all employee relations, uh, recruiting, hiring, uh, compensation, and most importantly, all of our employee benefits. My name is Tamara Bell. I am the Managing Director of the Southwest Regional Communications Center. I'm overseeing the the 911 center, you know, who receives your emergency and non-emergency phone calls and make sure that we dispatch the proper emergency help to you. Uh, aside from that, you're just uh, monitoring the budget, making sure we're spending uh, the funds, the city's funds properly. Hey, my name is Jerry Duffield. I'm the fire chief and emergency manager for the city of DeSoto. As a fire chief, I manage the fire department. I take care of all emergency management and I take care of the fire training center up on Wintergreen. My name is Louis Martinez and I'm the managing director of DeSoto's Public Utilities Department. Well, we uh, provide water and water service and sewer service, and uh, we're heavily regulated, and so we have to do those things in a matter that meets uh, in a manner that meets all of the regulations, and provide that to our uh, about 20,000 accounts, about uh, 50 or 60,000 people. Tracy Cormier, uh, Finance Director with the City of DeSoto. I'm responsible for the city's audit, responsible for the budget and all the financial matters that relate to the city of DeSoto, including payroll, um, bonds and debt, you know, everything that deals with finance. I'm Scott Kurth. I'm the presiding judge for the DeSoto Municipal Court. I handle the classy misdemeanors and traffic offenses that are committed within the city of DeSoto, as well as, as I am a Dallas County Magistrate, I handle uh, roughly between 6,000 and 7,200 uh, magistrate hearings a year at the Tri-City Jail where we house uh, prisoners from Lancaster, DeSoto, Cedar Hill, Glen Heights, uh, the North Texas uh, College District, and Methodist Hospital. My name's Tom Feigert, and I'm the IT director for the city of DeSoto. We manage all the computers, the networks, the switches, the routers, um, everything associated with computers or telecommunications for the city. I'm Kathy Jones and I'm the Community Relations Manager for City of DeSoto. I manage our City of DeSoto government channel, which is where, what you see right, right now. Um, I am the staff liaison for the DeSoto Arts Commission and for the Veterans Affairs Committee. And get, 
used to do some special events, don't do those anymore, but do any anything and everything that's a special project from the city manager's office. My name is Matt Smith, and I am the communications manager for the city of DeSoto, Texas. Uh, I'm responsible for the a whole lot of things. Communications can be speaking to a member of the media, uh, working with our mayor and council, trying to convey a message to the public, which is really important these days, especially when we're dealing uh, with life and death illnesses and uh, various weather emergencies. I'm Tanil T. Terry, Marketing Manager. I am currently leading the development of the city's new identity, brand, and COVID relief marketing campaign entitled DeSoto Cares, which provides free resources for DeSoto businesses and residents. What's one project that you're working on here in the city of DeSoto that you're most excited about? Yeah, so the one that I'm most excited about right now is really our Hampton Road uh, redevelopment project. Uh, so, so there's you know an opportunity for us to take the one mile stretch of Hampton Road between Beltline and Pleasant Run and really making it into a unique destination location for businesses to come, pedestrians to walk around, people just to come and look at it as a place for them to live, work, play, and just enjoy their, their time here in DeSoto. We need uh, something in DeSoto that becomes that attraction of, of what it is that we're known for, right? What do people, when they come to DeSoto, what do they have to go to? We're hoping that the answer to that in the future is Hampton Road. Uh, and so we're, so we're working closely with the city council who really helps to set the vision for what we're going to be doing on Hampton Road on there. But it includes making sure that the street design and the sidewalks, the way those are laid out, are going to be uh, in, consistent with that vision that we want to achieve. Uh, making sure that we attract the right types of businesses, that we create the vision for those businesses and then find out, OK, who can help and be a partner with us in developing and locating along Hampton Road. Uh, so that's if, if you ask me what I'm most excited about, it's, it's that one, because that one has a way of transforming our community as we move forward, being something com completely unique to DeSoto. And hopefully 10 years from now, people look back and say, you know what, I'm really glad that that groundwork was put into place to make Hampton Road into what it is today, a place that DeSoto is known for. One of the things we're really excited about as far as this project in this series is that we get to learn interesting facts about all of our staff and the people that work here at the city of DeSoto. So could you tell us one fun fact about yourself? Okay, so, so the one that I'm gonna share with you today, and this one, it's, it's fun for me, it's fun for my family, we enjoy it a lot, um, but not a lot of people know this about me. Um, I'm a huge Disney fan. Uh, so so when, it, when it comes to where it is that we go on vacation, Disney World is the place for us. I moved to DeSoto about 14 years ago to actually take a job with the city of DeSoto. And one of the first questions I was asked was whether or not I was a Cowboys fan. So my answer then and now is a resounding no, I am not. I am a forever faithful 49ers fan, as you can see by my frame tile back here. And so uh, I went to watch the Cowboys hoping to see them lose. I actually started my professional career as an attorney in Seattle, and since then over the last 25 or so years in local government, I've worked in five states. Texas is the fifth state I've worked in. You know what, if you probably read my bio, you know that I was Elliot the Eagle in high school, which was our mascot, but I don't even think that's probably the most funny thing that people probably wouldn't know about. Actually, what I will say is most people actually, unless you grew up with me, most people don't know that I am actually a singer and I play the drum set, the full out drum set, yes. I wanted to be, growing up, I wanted to be the next Sheila E. I wanted to be the gospel Sheila E, I'm telling y'all. And so I learned, I started playing the drum set when I was like nine years old. My older brother played the drum, so I wanted to do that. My mom wanted me to like, you know, play the piano or some other instrument. But I really took a liking to playing the drums and so a lot of people don't know that and I actually sung with my sisters and two of my other best friends and we had a gospel group and we literally traveled. We were on Bobby Jones gospel. We, I mean, we traveled. We actually um, recorded some, some, some records. I mean, all these things and people don't really know that about me. Interesting fact about me is uh, I think um, I'm not a good dancer, but I love to dance and uh, I love to cook. I, I cook pretty good. So cooking and dancing is uh, something that I like. A fun fact is I love to sing and I was able to do that at the first annual City of DeSoto Vet Fest. Fun fact about me is I'm a huge movie buff. Let's see, I love to cook and everyone here knows how much I love to cook. So I do bring things here to uh, help my colleagues through the day <laughs> with some of my cooking. Uh, I run four Boston marathons and I uh, like to do my more. 
There's not a whole lot. Uh, the older I've gotten, I'm real simple. Uh, I work out at 4 a.m. in the morning, and I know that's not exciting. I'm about excellence, and it is part of who I am. But more importantly, I'm light cameras in action. I learn, I create, and then I also make sure you have a good experience in this place we call the library. Fun fact about me, though, most people don't know, is that I'm a marathon runner. I started running about 11 years ago, and uh, I have completed 47 half marathons and two full marathons. That's 26 months. Interesting fact about me, I'll go back to Augusta, Georgia, where I moved here from. I used to do commercials. I love to run. I run five to 10 miles a day, and my sister calls me Forrest Gump. So if you see me out running, somebody in a fire department t-shirt running around a soda, it's probably me, just wave and honk, and I'll, honk, I'll wave back at you. Probably the, the most interesting thing, you know, that maybe most people don't know about me is the fact that on the weekends, I like to put on a cowboy hat, and I like to work the cattle, and I like to ride my horses. So I'm really a cowboy born 150 years too late. Very active in coaching and playing rugby. I haven't played uh, for a while. Uh, in a competitive sense, but I played uh, last weekend in a rugby match in Albuquerque. So most people probably don't know that I am an outdoor adventure junkie. I love horseback riding, um, banana boat riding in the ocean, and zip lining through the jungle. I would say I'm an avid traveler. Um, my bucket list is to travel all 50 states, and I've accomplished 33 so far. I like to do triathlons. One thing that I don't spread around very much is that I served in the Navy in 1990 to 94 and was uh, a part of the U.S. Navy's Blue Jackets Choir during that time. I am more than just a government spokesperson. I actually uh, started out as a journalist. I uh, entered the political realm and worked in government for many years. I've worked for uh, major presidential candidates on both sides of the aisles. I've worked in uh, political strategy. I was a, uh, a founder of, uh, for one of the candidates I work with, the uh, room that invented rapid response and communications. And I have Second City training. And I uh, literally had to leave the program with one level to go before I graduated because I was working on a mayoral campaign in Chicago. So as I'm reminded by the campaign manager from that uh, campaign from time to time, I'm still one level away from being funny. I am the DeSoto girl. I've worked for the city of DeSoto for 25 years. I went to DeSoto High School, just like our mayor. And fun fact, my daughter graduated with Mayor, mayor Rachel. An interesting and fun fact about me is I've been riding motorcycles or driving motorcycles for over 22 years, and I can pretty much drive anything you put in front of me. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. And now that you've gotten a chance to meet our incredible staff that makes DeSoto the great city that it is, I want to make sure that you get locked in with us so that you don't miss any of the amazing episodes we have coming your way each month. With you, with me, with us, DeSoto Rises.